do you have a baby that's been eating for a while and maybe they're finally starting to swallow most of their food? What do you do next? How do you advance? Stick around and I'll let you know. We're still talking starting solid foods here. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then also head to newwaysnutrition.com where I've got all sorts of resources for starting solids and all things about childhood nutrition. So advancing textures. It's what so many parents want to know. Once your baby starts swallowing more of that food, how can you start getting them a little bit more advanced textures? So likely if you're doing a baby led weaning style of food, you have been feeding your baby finger width and length pieces of food that are pretty soft to match between. And while it's closer to table food than say traditional weaning and purees, you still have to do a lot of modification. How can you advance past that? When is your baby ready? So this is gonna be completely dependent on your baby. I'm gonna give you some examples, but know that this is very, very, very baby dependent. Not every baby's gonna progress the same way. So make sure you're listening to your baby first and foremost. But the thing that we are looking for absolutely the most to advance past those finger foods are is gonna be your pincher grasp. So, so that's your thumb and forefinger, and you want the baby to be able to pick up little things, little pieces of food with their pincer grasp. And so once they can do that, that is the biggest indicator that they are probably ready for you to advance past just the finger shaped foods. The next thing that we're looking for is that they have developed, they have started to get some teeth. This one's a little bit more baby dependent though, because it's not necessarily that they're gonna be able to chew more, they still aren't gonna have molars. So they're not gonna be able to chew their food any differently. It just might help them to get some of the harder food off, uh, but it's definitely not a requirement. I'll give you an example. My baby did not get her first tooth until she was almost a year, and she was definitely past the initial stages of texture by that time. So again, very baby dependent. They don't have to have teeth. Every baby's gonna get that at a different point, but it definitely can help to make some foods easier to eat. Now, once you have that, that's generally gonna happen, the pincer and or the teeth around nine months. Again, every baby's different, so this is just a little reference, but don't start automatically at nine months because that's what I said. Just, just listen to your baby. Again, I can't say that enough. But once you're able to do that, how do you know that your baby is ready to do that? Once they are developmentally there, they have the pincer grasp, how do you test your baby on what they're able to handle? So the first thing you can do is if you've been giving them some smushable fruits or vegetables, maybe start serving it a little bit more al dente, like you might eat it. So don't cook it quite as much, cook it a little bit less. You're gonna give that to your baby and you're gonna watch them really closely that first time. At this point, your baby likely can manipulate food pretty well in their mouth. They have figured out how to manipulate it and swallow it. So the risk of choking is very, very minimal here. And we're not talking going to a very hard food. We're talking advancing it in steps, okay? So give that to your baby and you're gonna watch for their cues. If they start to gag more than they normally do, that's probably a good indicator that they're not quite ready for that yet. The other way that you can tell is if they take it and then put it back or they just avoid it altogether and go for the softer foods. Those are also cues that they're just not ready for that advanced texture. But if you give it to them and they go all for it, then you are totally okay to start giving them that. It's again, it's just gonna be baby dependent and you just gotta start experimenting with your child. Now, the biggest thing here is that you want your baby's meal time to be comfortable you want them to have a safe space to explore foods so it's really important that you don't push them too far outside of their comfort zone but on the other hand you also want to make sure that you are pushing them they can get you can get very comfortable in the foods that you're giving and you want them to continue to advance so you do want to keep trying different foods and new textures so that they're able to progress in their eating skills again Every baby is gonna be different, but once they start having their pincer grasp, you can totally start cutting things smaller. You can stop cutting things in the big finger shape. A lot of babies actually start not liking those foods. They like the smaller foods and they like to practice their pincer grasp. So start cutting meat smaller, eggs, anything like that. You can cut it into small bits that they can then put in their mouth and they can start to manipulate a little bit more. 
So that's what we're looking for when we're advancing textures. Again, I can't stress it enough. Listen to your baby, it's gonna be baby dependent, but that's a way that you can start is by what I've said about advancing their texture slowly and by paying really close attention to what they're doing. All right, I hope you learned something and have a good day.